Hello everyone, I'm Alex McGonagall, I'm the Operations Manager at OptiSense and today I'm going to take you on a quick introduction to the OptiSense 6 software. One of the key features of the new software is the new single interface window. The single interface window is designed to present information to the client as quickly and expediently as possible. One of the newest features that you'll see is along the top is this rolling system timeline that shows us events that have recently occurred on the system. This is supported later by historical analysis. Another thing that we have on the main system window is these four options down the right hand side of the panel. You can open these up to get a quick snapshot of various things. The first snapshot will show you the recent alerts or the, the history of the alerts that are on your system. These are the alerts that are currently occurring on your system or have been acknowledged but not dismissed. The second option we have is looking at potentially any errors that are forming, any system problems that we're seeing. We've generated one, so we have one here for you to view. This can be cleared very simply by running through a few series of steps and the system will clear itself. A very key thing that we do is we now have an option of a side panel waterfall. The side panel waterfall mirrors the events on the map and events that occur, such as this personnel and this activity event, they are tracked on the waterfall as well as being displayed and tracked on the map. And finally, for very quick fault diagnosis, we have a system health processing chain. This allows us to see very quickly should there be an interruption in any of the processing that we're doing on the system. Another feature of the single window interface in, within the graphical user interface is the ability to get to other locations within the software and other features very quickly and very easily. This is done by typing the word of the area you wish to go to. In this case, I want to open up a surveillance waterfall. I will start to type the word waterfall. As I type the word, options appear and they become less and less until I'm left with only the options that contain the word waterfall. I select the waterfall option that I want. It opens up a surveillance waterfall for me. The option of languages within the software, it can be made available in many, many options of language. You just have to speak to your OptiSense support personnel. So moving on from the ability to get to locations very quickly, we'll use the same process to move to looking at historical data. In this case, we want to look at data that's going to help us to do analysis and auditing. So I'm going to start to typing the word historic. The option that I'm looking for is this historic timeline. Once the historic timeline comes up, I have the option of selecting the range for the search that I want to do. I will leave it at a default of 24 hours. In the last 24 hours, I want to know what's happened on my system. I click search. I have a list of alerts, alerts that have been raised, alerts that have been dismissed, uh, acknowledged. I can also see changes made to the system and who's logged in and who hasn't logged out. Further analysis is available by clicking on an event, showing me when the event was updated uh, and potentially when it was cleared and when it was acknowledged. OS 6 has allowed us to build upon the improvements brought in in OS 5 with the distributed architecture and the database that we were using. We now have the option of very much customizing our data retention policy. We access the data retention policy in the same way we access any other areas by typing in the first couple of keywords and opening up the policy. The policy allows us to change how long we want to keep certain types of data. And the key part about this is the amount of data that we can now store as alert data, as threat summary data, threat history, historical timeline and logs, it's measured in years rather than days, weeks and months. This is supported by having the ability to store raw data and compressed data for longer periods with the introduction of larger hard drives within the architecture. We've also made improvements to how we set up our uh, zones and algorithms. We're going to bring up the activity detector. The activity detector has the same look and feel as we had in OS 5. Uh, it's now slightly different in how it operates, but the, one of the key features is we have something called channel by channel. Channel by channel allows us to set up very bespoke settings down to single channels within the detector without going outside of the detector to create zones. It's all done internally to the detector. Another feature on key detectors is the introduction of machine learning. This is currently a feature on uh, a few of the detectors that we run 
uh, and it allows much quicker installation and commissioning of the system and then the continuation of the detector and the algorithm always being on a loop of self-learning and improvement.